So welcome back to another episode and today I'm going to talk about the insanity that is wave 4 of amiibo collecting. It is just absolutely crazy and so many people are losing their minds about this and rightfully so. It's, it's, it, I've never seen anything like this I, in all the years I've been playing video games and collectibles have come out and I've never been into this whole Beanie Baby thing so I never knew what that was about. But people are drawing a lot of comparisons to this, uh, the old Beanie Baby craze that was years ago. A fad that did die out, by the way, but what is going on with Wave 4? So, I think a lot of most people probably, probably have heard, who are, are Amiibo collectors, that GameStop, you know, crashed. The, the website crashed the other day. Everybody was trying to go in and, and order Wave 4. Uh, Ness is the exclusive character. To that, so everybody went there. Uh, the the servers crashed. Website went down. The problem is, people went down to the stores and were lining up for hours. I know a few personal friends in the states that were lining up for hours. Finally got in. Finally got to the cash register, and you know the woman or the guy behind the counter is like, "I'm sorry, the entire database is down. I can't do anything." So people were really frustrated about that and. And one of the Target exclusives went up at uh, midnight, uh, in the middle of the night, and sold out like in 10 minutes. That was Jigglypuff. <laughs> Sorry, I laugh every time I say that name. <laughs> it has been totally crazy. And I was like, man, I really want to get Ness. Like, I really love Ness from Earthbound. I'm such a huge fan of Earthbound. So, I'm like, I don't think I'm ever going to get Ness. That, that's going to be impossible. Like, everybody in the entire universe is trying to get this. So, I, I luckily was able to phone my EB up later in the day, and they're like, uh, Oh, this is your home of uh, Amiibo collecting. I'm like, Oh. Um, and she's like, Yeah. She's like, Oh, are you into uh, Amiibos? I'm like, Yeah, kind of. I said, Is there any way to pre order them and do anything? She's like, Well, you can come at 11 in the morning when we open the store, and you can, uh, there'll probably be a big lineup, but you can wait in the lineup and, you know, you can pre order the figures. I'm like, Okay, sure, fine. So, me, I, it was, it was actually good. It was a, it was a holiday here in Canada. So, I got up with Kim. We drove down there. I got there at eight in the morning, and it opens at eleven. And uh, first there, nobody else is there. And I, I took a picture of me that is so pathetically hilarious. I, I, I put it on Twitter, and the responses were fantastic. I thought they were really funny. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I got there before anybody, and I was just, we, when we sat and waited, and we grabbed a coffee. To be honest, the wait wasn't so bad. And then after that, a lot more people started showing up until we had about 15 people. You know, it, about it was about 10 o'clock. Everybody started to roll in a little bit more. So uh, I thought, and I remember, you know, what was funny? I turned to Kim, and I'm like, "This is just ridiculous." I'm like, "When did it turn into this? Like, where you gotta get up?" get to a, you know, an electronics boutique like three hours before they open. Three hours before they open. So, you can do a pre-order on the figures that you will get a month and a half later. Like, for plastic toys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that one more time, you know? It's, it's totally crazy. I'm the first to admit it. I'm like, this has gotten way out of hand and I got a few solutions for Nintendo, that's for sure. A few solutions to this entire stupidity, you know? I'll get to that in a second. I finally got in at 11 o'clock. I was able to pre-order the figures. So I was a happy guy. Like, but I'm like, this is so dumb. There's so many people who weren't able to do that. They, they weren't able to get down to the stores and pre-order their figures and stuff like that. So it's a really insane thing to do. And Oh, another thing is, when I was waiting in the lineup, so many people, like, you know, people walking by, construction workers and stuff like that, they're like, Hey, what are you guys in line for? So I just yell back, I'm like, PS4! And they're like, oh, okay. And it was pretty awesome because there's a bunch of people beside me. They, they were kind of introverted people waiting in the line. They're like, thank you for saying that. <laughs> they were so like, they didn't know what to do. It wasn't a big deal. I don't give a shit. You know, I can care less, but... So anyways, this is a complete kabaffle. It's fucking retarded. It's absolutely stupid. It's I, I cannot believe this. And it bugs me that there's such a demand 
And Nintendo is completely not, not giving it up, man. They're not giving it up at all for anyone. Here's my solution. And I've seen this in a few forms mentioned, you know, as well. And I think it's just a great solution. On Nintendo's website, they should do like a, a print run of a certain amount and say, hey guys, we're doing NES. Who wants to pre-order one? Everybody pre-orders it. They make for that run and they ship off. And then they ship a couple, you know, the bunch to stores. Everybody can get one then. And there's no insanity. Everybody trying to, you know, beat each other up over the crap and going on eBay spending outrageous prices. And the solution is perfect because the guy who buys fucking Jigglypuff <laughs> and puts it up onto eBay and charges $80 for that and somebody pays it, that is like 70 plus, you know, $70 that Nintendo's not getting. So doing the pre-order thing, Nintendo would completely get all of that. You know what I mean? They'd get all of that money. All the people that are waiting, they're going, that can't get this stuff. And it's been so many months now, I... I really am losing faith that they're going to reprint a lot of them. I think they're going to re reprint some. Obviously, Marth is going to be reprinted, stuff like that. But other than that, not really much is happening, you know, in the way of that. They keep promising all this bullshit that never happens. And it's just pissing everyone off. I have never seen a community of people. And you can love Amiibos or hate them. But, but you know, I've never seen such frustration... You know, I know people who hate them that would just are like, yeah, I wouldn't mind just having one. I wouldn't mind having Mega Man, or I wouldn't mind having this character, or this character, and they're unobtainable. That's what pisses even the people who hate, people who hate it hate it more because of even that reason. And people who like it hate it. So it's creating just a, a huge colossal amount of hate. And I, as I said, I've never seen anything like it. I've never seen anything like it in the community of uh, of gaming before in all of my time. So. I really think Nintendo really needs to step up, change their ways, and produce more for the amount of people out there. There is so many people uh, that are collecting these things, and you know, some people just casually want to have them. Like, let's, you know, give them the chance to get them. Right now, people are on eBay trying to buy these things by, you know, I'm paying outrageous amounts of money. And there's, sorry, and there's people on eBay that have bought a truckload of them that are making a ton load of money from this. And that, they're the ones pissing everybody off as well. So it's a no-win situation for everyone right now. And I don't know why Nintendo doesn't fix it so everybody can win. So, you know, servers on, you know, EB's website are not, you know, crashing. For Christ's sakes, it's fucking mental. So it is Amiibo Armageddon at this point, And I don't even want to know about Wave 5. I don't even want to know about that stuff. That is just... This stuff is giving me a headache. I can, I can tell you that much. So anyways, guys, until next time.